Uh, welcome to the co-production uh, video and it's really important for me to introduce myself. So my name is John Williams. I'm the Director of Adult Social Care for Community and Operational Services. And really for me, sort of co-production has a key part to play in how we develop services how we think about involving our citizens, but also how we think about sort of placing our citizens at the heart of our decision making. Over the years for Birmingham and the Adult Social Care Vision, co-production has been at the heart of our decision making. It's helped us think about what we're doing and why we're doing it. It's also helping us to then design services, so that may be a redesign of our social work teams, that may be a recommissioning of some of our external services and working with our partners. But most importantly, it's listening to the voices of our citizens. When we do our engagement sessions with our People for Public Services colleagues and also our Youth Empowerment Squad, which is our younger colleagues that help us really think about what it is that we're trying to do. How as a city, how as adult social care, we are then trying to take our services forward, but also thinking about how that presence looks. So when we think about when we design a service, who we design it for, why we design it, what are the outcomes that we're going to do. The key part for me really is sort of giving our citizens the opportunity and the voice to then help us think about how that service looks. To design a service that is based on our communities and based on Birmingham. To think about the diverse population that we've got and how we serve those individuals in the best way. And we can't do this on our own. The world of adult social care is encompassed with health, with housing, with the voluntary sector and with education. So how do we then think about engaging all of those individuals, all of those services and really thinking about the citizens being a key partner in the room for us? How do we share power with our citizens so they have an equal voice? And how as an officer do I listen to our citizens and then make sure that we feed back to them? Make sure that when someone suggests something, we don't just sort of place it to one side, but we actually really take it on board we do some Q&A, we test the model, and then we go back to our citizens and we give a rationale for why it's being used and how it's going to be used, or why, the, why it's not the time. So co-production for me really is the way forward. We've been using it in Birmingham for a number of years now, and it's helped us develop some fantastic services, like our transition service and our Art of the Possible about preparation for adulthood. How we think about the free conversations model around our assessments, and also our commissioning strategies for the future. So, co-production, sharing power, sharing the workload as well. So, as an officer, I can come, do my job, but I'm really listening to our citizens, I'm taking on board their views, and I'm making sure that is embedded in my practice and in the practice of all my staff team. So, please sort of uh, reach out to us. You'll see some links within the website that you're already on. Be part of our group. Come and be part of People for Public Services. Come and be part of the Yes Group, the Youth Empowerment Squad. Help us make a difference. Help us place citizens at the heart of our decision making. Thank you.